There's three things that you want to be mindful of when it comes to investing in real estate. And today I have my man Nas from his own channel, Real Estate Duru, on YouTube and on Instagram. Definitely check him out. But I want him to share some pointers on how he became successful in real estate. I know it took him uh, some time. Yeah. And a lot of people are looking for overnight success. That's not the case. We're here to be real with you and tell you what it's really going to take to become successful in real estate. So what's the first thing, Nas, that people want to keep in mind when it comes to building a real estate business and being successful at it? What worked for you, man? You got to stay committed. Um, don't fall in love with the checks. Don't start fall in love with the lifestyles. You got to fall in love with the process. You know, the check's gonna come, but you gotta be all right with the process. Um, I did my first wholesale there in 2011. I've been involved in real estate since 2007. And then back in 2007, my first deal, me and my partner, we lost uh, 14,000, 7,000 a piece on the flip. But um, I just stayed committed to the process. At the time, I was, too, I was too stupid to quit, too young and too stupid to quit. But with that being said, I stuck with it. And then when I found out about creative real estate in 2010, I did my first wholesale deal in 2011, but it took me eight months of consistent consistency of getting out there. Don't focus on the checks and all that, the lifestyle. Man, get comfortable with that process of you doing the work. How you feel about being clear with goals and things like that in the beginning, bro? Like, how important is that when it comes to really being able to achieve something or having something to look forward to in your real estate business? I think that's extremely important. It's extremely important because um, that was a game changer for me. I started writing goals at like 26, and that's when things started to really change for me. Um, and that was, for for those who don't know, that was 14 years ago for me. And that's when things started to change. And I got that from self-help book because I, I I didn't like my life. I was in the car center making $12 an hour. Setting goals is probably one of the first things that you really want to do. You want to get clear on the path that you want to take in order to be able to get to where you want to go. Now, once you understand exactly where you're going, what's the next thing that people should do? Uh, once you understand exactly where you want to go, you got to do the work. That's what those people, like, people don't want to do the work. It, it, yo, it's going to be hard work. All right, so average income in America is like 60 something, I think, for a person now. Um, household income was like, like uh, I want to say on average, like 100. Mm -hmm. Household, that, that's, that's everybody in the house. So, therefore, if you want to go out here and make you know, as a single person, 100000 a year, 500000 a year, you want to make a career that you want to make a million dollars a year, you got to be willing to do the work. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, um, you're, you're an educator, I'm an educator, a lot of people, they're just not, they just want to sit on the couch all day and just want everything to happen. Man, you got to go out there and sometimes create deals and make it happen. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy as, you know, social media makes it look. That's right, that's right, man. How important is consistency when it comes to being becoming successful? I mean, it's extremely important. It took me eight months to get my first deal. Oh. You know, I could have gave up month three, month four, month five, but I knew the lifestyle I I was living, which was a job in the call center, making 12 hours an hour, I knew I wasn't the lifestyle for me. It took Nas eight months to do his first deal. It took me 13 months to make $1,500. But guess what? My next check was $48,000. If I would've quit, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be talking to you, and I'd be just like everybody else. So you gotta be different. You gotta have a different type of attitude. You gotta be willing to grind this thing out in order to really make it work. At the end of the day, this is not a get rich quick scheme. How you feel about that, bro? Is this a get rich quick scheme? Absolutely not. Real estate is build wealth slow. Build wealth slow. That's all it is, yeah. Get rich slow. That's what real estate is. But the longevity that comes from real estate investing in general will absolutely change your life. It changed minds, it changed Nas's, and it could change yours too. So any last words, man? Hey, man, listen. First thing first, I just want to say for anybody, if you want to make a career out of real estate, it is achievable. One thing about real estate, an average person can make extraordinary income, okay? This is not the entertainment industry where you, you just got to be it, all right? You can make a, a great lifestyle for the rest of your life out of this. You just have to focus, follow one course until successful, and stay committed. We out here in the middle of the week, top golfing while everybody else is worrying about getting up to go to work tomorrow we can afford this type of lifestyle we can afford to do things that the average person can't do so at the end of the day guys if you want to create real time and freedom for yourself keep following and keep pursuing 
real estate investing but understand that it's going to take work it's not going to happen overnight and if you're willing to build it that's where the real wealth is built all right y'all so look we just came from top golfing with my man Nas and some other friends as well you know at the end of the day you know business is great right business building a business is great but you got to have some leisure time you know and and in order to really have that leisure time, you want to build yourself up first, right? So was I taking leisure time in my 20s and half of my 30s? No, I didn't really start relaxing until probably five years ago where I really just started to, you know, chill out a little bit, spend a little more money. My first 10 years of being in the business, all through my 20s, you know, even though I made enough money to be able to semi-retire by the time I was 30, um, I really didn't, me personally, I'm not saying this is for everybody, I really wasn't enjoying myself. You know, what I would do is work, 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 work just to build something special. And then once I achieved some of the, well, majority of the goals that I wanted to achieve, that's when I started to chill a little bit more. You know what I mean? So. You know, like we was talking about with Nas, there's a couple of things that you really want to keep in mind. I'm going to share three those three things with you again. You really want to know where you want to go, right? Because without the goal, you don't know what you're aiming for. The second thing, you want to have the strategy. Nas said hard work. I believe that you got to have a strategy before so you know what to work hard on, right? So if you need quick cash, you should be wholesaling. If you need passive income, go for rental income rental properties, creative finance, things like that, right? And then you put in the hard work and be consistent at it at the end of the day. So if I had to add two cents to the whole video, that's what I would add. You know, I believe that um, anything is achievable. You can do anything as long as you put your mind to it and you're willing to work for it. So I hope you guys benefited from this video, you know, and I'm sure some of you can go out there and do what you want when you want to do it midweek you don't have a job right but the, the object the key to this whole thing is really being able to do it without thinking about it while you still have passive income coming in i teach passive income on this channel and to me the real wealth is built in real estate through passive income streams so I hope you guys benefited from this video be sure to like it subscribe click the notification bell and do me a favor check out my man real estate guru Nas um, on YouTube and on Instagram and across all social media platforms really really good dude he knows his stuff and he's really doing the business like he said he was right so um, check him out real estate guru and be sure to subscribe to his channel as well as mine as well I talk to you guys on the next one peace hey if you want to call some deals yeah. talk to Jamel Gibbs yeah. and Nasa yeah. yeah. they got it they got it he helped me close $10,000 last month. He helped me close a million. Yeah. You got it.